Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today I'm here with a book outlet book haul and dropping stuff. So apparently books are pushing other books off my bookshelf. Do they have a fight or something? Because <laughs> yeah, one put one book pushed another book off a bookshelf, so that wasn't crashy here. Okay, anyway, so I have a book outlet haul. I also have two books from Amazon as well. And all these I got myself, well, technically it was a gift from my friend Mitzi, so thank you Mitzi. The book that she sent me was really damaged when it came, so I had to send it back and ended up getting two books with the gift card. So that's this package. Oh yeah, it's easy to open. But this came quickly. I had to wait for book outlet for like two weeks. I'm like, come on, hurry up so I can do a haul video. All right. So in here, the first one that I got is one of my absolute favorite books of, of all time. And it is Steve and Me by Terry Irwin. Absolutely love. I love this book so much. But this is all about pretty much their lives and how, how Terry met Steve in Australia, how they met, fell in love, and their journey to start the Crocodile Hunter and the Crocodile Files. This is just a really great book. I love it. So yay, I finally have a copy for my bookshelves. I'm so happy about that. And then the last one in the Amazon haul is one book I'm really excited about. Just checking to make sure it's in good condition. Uh, is Restart from Gordon Corman. This is a middle grade book and two of my friends have recommended this one to me. And I loved his other book that I read, which was Unteachables. And I heard Restart is really good as well. So this one says, let's see, Chase's memory just went out the window. Chase doesn't remember falling off the roof. He doesn't remember hitting his head. He doesn't in fact remember anything. He wakes up in a hospital room and suddenly has to learn his whole life all over again, starting with his own name. So that sounds really good. I'm really excited for that one. All right. So those are the only two books that I bought from Amazon. It's a heavy book. Especially for a paperback. And I love the feel. It's got one of those like soft, soft plush covers. I love those. Those are my favorite covers. All right. Ugh. On to the book outlet box, which is heavy. And I only remember one or two books that I got. So this is a total surprise for me as it is for you. It's been a while since I bought them. All right. So I know one of these is a, is a book that I've already read, but I really enjoyed it. The rest are books I haven't read yet, I don't think. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. I'm starting to remember. <laughs> Alright, so the first one that I got is the Puffin and Bloom Heidi edition. Or the Heidi Puffin and Bloom edition <laughs> by Johanna Spiri. And that cover is so pretty. I love it so much. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Beautiful flowers. I love the lime yellow. So I have Little Woman and Anna Green Gables in this edition. So I thought I'd hurry up and grab this edition because it's absolutely beautiful and I have not read it yet. I've seen the movie a few times growing up. It's actually one of my dad's favorites, or it used to be. But yeah, so I'm excited. Oh, look at the cute little drawings on the inside. So yeah, so I was really happy that they had like a couple Puff and Bloom editions. They had Alice in Wonderland, but it was sold out by the time that I ended up buying books. I was like, no, a few, a few books I wanted to happen, but that's okay. So I got On the Cliffs of Foxglove Manor and the House, on, the House on Foster Hill by Jamie Jo Wright. And these are the last two books that I don't own by Jamie Jo Wright. I think I actually need one more, I, but I own everything else. So I just need to start reading them. So uh, let's see. This one says, Kane Prescott is no stranger to death when her husband died two years ago. Her pleas for further investigation into his suspicious demise fell on deaf ears. In desperate need of a fresh start, Kane purchases an old house sight unseen in her grandfather's Wisconsin hometown. But one look at the eerie abandoned house immediately leaves her questioning her rash decision. Sounds creepy and it sounds good. That one's Christian fiction. Um, that's the only one so far that was Christian fiction. And this one is as well. I love this cover. It's so pretty. I think this is her, um... One of her most recent. I think Souls of Lost Lake is the most recent one, and this one came out last year, so this is like her second most recent. <laughs> okay, so this one says, uh, I know they're also due timeline, I just didn't didn't read the due timeline of this one, but this one says, in 1885, Adria Fontaine has been sent away from her home to recover goods her malevolent father pirated on the Great Lakes during the Civil War. 
Hoping to find freedom away from her father, Adria arrives at Fosco Manor, a stone house on a cliff overlooking Lake Superior, but senses only wickedness hovering over the property. The mistress of Flax Glove is an eccentric and seemingly cruel old woman who has filled her house with dangerous secrets, ones that may cost Adria her life. Okay, that, that sounds good. Okay, can we drop everything and just read this one? <laughs> okay, I have too many books that I want to read anyway, so we will get to that one. Okay, next up is Just Beyond the Very, Very Far North by Dan Burrell. And I have the first book in this series, at least I'm hoping I got the right one. You know how my brain works, because I forgot to make a list of all the books that I own. But I'm pretty sure this is the second book in this series. I think so. I love how there's no list of book titles in here. But I'm pretty sure this is the second one, because I own the other one that is... Yeah, the first one is The Very, Very Far North. This one is Just Beyond the Very, Very Far North, and I own the first one. So... I don't know if I can say anything about this one, but I basically got them for the covers because that's just so cute, isn't it? With the northern lights and the cute little animals. That's just a good time. I'm excited. I might save that for middle grade March with the other one. All right. Oh, I forgot. I did read this one and I got it. So I had to get this one because it is now one of my favorite middle grades of all time. And that is Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren. And this is a book published in, I believe, Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. So it's, it's in English, I hope. Yes, it's in English. But this is an adorable book about these kids who find a new neighbor living next door called Pippi. And she is outrageous and crazy. And she just likes to have fun and adventures. And she tries to be a little bit more proper, but it doesn't always turn out right. So it's an adorable middle grade book. I love it. I can't wait to finish the rest of the series in this fun, fun world of hers. Okay, next one I got is... The, I believe the third book in the Train to Impossible Places series. I can go ahead and read them because sometimes I just like to binge read, binge read series and read them all at once. So I got this one. This one's called Delivery to the Lost City. And I don't really want to know anything going into these books, but it's middle grade. I know it's going to be fun. All right. So the last book that I got, which you all know, I like this book a lot. I gave it to you four and four and a half stars, but it might be closer to five because I do really, really like this book. So I got When Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jamieson and Omar Mohammed. And this is the, uh, based on a true story of Mohammed and his brother and, or Omar, Omar and his brother, and how they were in a refugee camp in Africa and how they were, they were trying to the oldest brother was trying to get educated and go to school there and they were always kind of just wondering when they were going to be able to find a place to live permanently so it's told in graphic novel form which I really like that um I kind of actually like the drawings in this book and this is like a middle grade book so it's perfect for younger ages as well so I'm really happy that I got this let's see what it looks like underneath the hardcover Oh, it's actually printed. I love that. It, it has the printing on it. So when you read it, you don't have to worry about the dust jacket. That's cool. So if you want to keep the dust jacket safe, you can still keep it on display. I like that. Okay, so I also came home to some book mail after our camping trip. So I already opened a few, but I have a few to unbox with you as well. So I got a few ARC copies from Baker Publishing. That I was expecting um but I had to let them know because I did read one of the art copies and the pages are just unfortunately too bright for me to read art copies and the printing is just too small for me like I can read it but it's really hard for me so but they did send me art copies they said not to return them they have me for finished copies now but they sent me uh let's see The Secrets of Ember Wild and it's about horses by Stefania H. McGee and the cover is beautiful and I know I'm gonna love it because it's about horses um, a dangerous secret from her father so it sounds really good I'm excited to read that one and then I also got the second and third book in the love and honor series from Haley Bridgman which is word of honor and honors refuge and she just released the last one like I think it came out this month and already she has a, the, I think it's the final two books in the series already out. They're coming out in October, I think. 
when yeah October and November so <laughs> there are they're already coming out this year and then I got a finished copy it was over there <laughs> uh, dangerous beauty by Melissa Coslin and I am so excited to read this one it's about a girl who has been in human trafficking and she ends up trying to get um, in America but she can't stay unless she marries the man who aided her in her in her escape so I'm really excited I think I'm gonna really enjoy this one so I'm really excited that I have a finished copy that I can read this week hopefully this week I'm gonna try really hard okay and then the next one that I got, I ended up winning a giveaway on Rachel Hawk's um, Facebook page. And this is You'll Be Mine, a Hearts Bend novel by Rachel Hawk and Mandy Bor Borma. That's how you pronounce her last name. But she co-wrote these with other authors. And so she kindly also signed it. But it's hard to get to that page that she signed. <laughs> there we go. But she signed it, which was really nice. And that, I actually won the first book of this series, too, on her page, which I thought was hilarious. I don't know how that happened, but God sent blessings because I've got both of them. Okay, on to boxes that I haven't opened yet. Two of these I know are possibly book trades because I did like kind of a book event on Facebook in one of my Facebook groups and we had to send a book to somebody and then we could enter to win anybody else's books that they posted. So I posted two and I think I ended up winning like three other people's books, I think, something like that. Let's see what we got. Here's the first one. The first one that I got is The Golden Child by Claire Adam. This is an advanced reader copy, um, but it looks pretty easy to read, so that's good. <laughs> uh, I think this one, let's see what this one came out. 2019, so this is an older copy, but I got that one. I love the cover. It's pretty blue. And the second book that I won from that person is another, I believe, another art copy? Yeah. And this one is Our American Friend by Anna Petoniak, and I have been wanting to read this one. This one came out in this past February, and I don't know, anything about spies and stuff, I just feel like I'm going to like, so hopefully I will like this one as well. All right, on to the next package we have. I think that's it in there. Yep. So the first one that I got is a Christmas book, which I'm really happy to get. I don't have enough Christmas books. I only own like four Christmas books, I think. And this one is called Christmas in Vermont by Anita Hughes. This isn't Christian fiction either, but I know there's a Christian fiction one in this pile. So I'm always excited to read some more Christmas books, and that cover is really pretty. So that one was in the package. The next one is Christian fiction, and I actually got this one for my mom for her birthday, and it is, uh, oh no, this one isn't. I thought it was because the, the spine looked the same, but this is, this is uh, Rosemary Cottage by Colleen Coble, a Hope Beach novel, and I actually haven't read this series, so got that one. And then the last one that I got, I think, is a ARC copy, maybe? I'm actually not sure. But this one is called uh, On Ocean Boulevard by Mary Alice Monroe. So on to the last box, which I think is from Baker Publishing again. It was on the porch. Um, yes, it is. Um, I think they sent me two copies by accident. <laughs> well, not two copies, but like I got the one, and then I think they sent me another one. Probably tell me to keep it, but I'll let them know. They really tape it together so these books don't move around. All right, so I think I accidentally got a second copy of this book, so there might be a giveaway in the future. <laughs> but yeah, so I did get a second copy of A Dangerous Beauty, so keep an eye out. There might be a giveaway coming up since there's a second copy because they're really nice and I don't think I'll be returning it, but if I do, then I'll just return it. But there might be a giveaway. So second copy of that one. And then they're kind enough to send me, let's see, this is Honor Bound. So I was planning on reading this one this this week as well. So I'll try to get to this one as well. Ooh, look at that. I love when they do foil in the lettering. That's just so pretty. So I've already talked about this on my channel, but it is the first book in the Love and Honor series, which I just showed you the other two. This is just a finished copy. So it's just so much easier. I wonder if I can show you guys what I mean by it being easier to read for me. Just the pages are so bright white, and I mostly use a reading light to read because it's kind of dark in the corner where I read. So the light's shining on it, and it's really bright. These pages, in a finished copy, are kind of like a vanilla yellow color. So they're not going to be as bright as these ones. You can definitely tell there's a difference. And also, 
Yeah, the writing's not super bigger, but it is a little bit. So that's why I requested these and they were really nice about it. All right, so got that one. And then the last one that I got was the second series, or second series, second book in the series, uh, Sky King Ranch book two. This is Sunburst and it has like kind of bronze, is that bronze, I guess? Or rose gold foil, that's beautiful. So they kindly sent me the second book and I should be receiving the third book once, once the release date comes up soon. So I'm excited to read this series. I've been dying to read this series so much. Okay, that's my book haul. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Uh, below, below. <laughs> Let me know what most recent book that you purchased or, and, or any book that you just recently got. And down in the comments. I love to hear from you all and I love to chat down in the comments below. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.